Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate you all checking out my last video, the full review on the Night Fox Prowl. And I know my thumb, <laughs> thumbnail got a lot of uh, interesting comments. So in that video, it was kind of more a review on the specs, the features of the device itself. In this video, as I promised, I'm gonna be showing you some footage of this, both the black and white filter and then the green filter so you can see how this actually looks. Um, I did an open field test out to a backdrop of a wooded area and then actually getting up close to some tree line and then also seeing with a pond or a water source. So I kind of wanted to give a good mix of distance and objects to kind of show how this actually performs using the built-in illuminator and then also using an external um, IR flashlight and an IR laser. So that's what I'm featuring in this video. So stick around to the end so you can get a full pros and cons of, you know, what your options would be with this device. Now, real quick, with Christmas around the corner, in honor of the best Christmas movie ever made, Die Hard, <laughs> got the MP5 clone from Zenith Firearms. <laughs> HK Slap is de definitely deserves a thumbs up, so make sure you like this video. I appreciate that, and I uh, hope you all have a very Merry Christmas coming up. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this first clip that you're looking at is me showing you uh, with a camera, no external lights, just the ambient lighting surrounding areas and then of course the moonlight this was actually filmed on a full moon so you can see how dark it is going into it here is going to be no ir zero no ir illuminators no ir settings this is just the camera of the night fox prowl using its sensor and changing the frame rate changing the iso setting and uh, trying to get the brightest picture with the least amount of lag that said, there is a ton of lag. There is a ton of image grain. So this is not ideal. Once we go into the IR0 setting and we use an external illuminator, that is where you're going to see a difference. So for the sake of not making this a really long video, I'm gonna basically just go through the video clips and I'll put on there what the IR setting was and whether it was the built-in illuminators or the external flashlight and laser. So you can just kind of get an idea and we'll go from there. Okay, so when I go to IR0, same thing, a lot of lag, because there's no external lights, just using the sensor. Now when I use the 940NN, up close you can see there's less, less of lag. I went to go to IR4, 850, IR5, so this is the highest setting on the Night Fox. So again, everything it's lighting up is good. Less lag. So I'm gonna drop it down to IR0. And then I'm gonna use the infrared light. We'll go walking here in a minute. I'm just showing you from a distance in an open kind of field. Now the other thing I'll show you is with a laser. So you can see here using closer distance, the size of that laser gets a little bit bigger. That brighter uh, light you're seeing there is actually a car coming down the road. If we do just the laser on IR0, then it's getting more lag. Let me go for a walk here. So you can kind of see. So here we have IR0 in black and white on this kind of trail. A lot of lag in IR0. Once I go to IR1, IR2, IR3, so this is 940 NM. 
still a little bit of lag here up close it's less noticeable but in the open field type of space pick it up on, on a little bit more as I go to IR4 this is 850nm getting a lot less lag brighter uh, reach with that light there this is of course the illuminator built in same thing IR5 top setting now what I'm going to do here is drop down to IR0 so you get that lag in IR0 because there's no external illuminator I'm going to use an external illuminator it takes care of a lot of that so I can walk and you can see the way the laser is different distances as I walk down this path here now up close trees and stuff because of the distance from the um, IR flashlight it's harder to see the laser and you get a lot of reflection off of the tree so anything that's like directly up close to you is going to be I mean these are like th within three to five feet um, gonna get a lot more it's upon there so you get some reflection off the water but you can see like the trees in the distance versus a tree that's closer if we zoom out all the way you reach across that pond but it's it's grainy it's kind of hard to make things out yeah let me come across here real quick So you can kind of see. As far as lag with the, you know, as long as you're using an external light source, it seems to be very, very minimal. It's once you remove the source, the camera relies on bumping up that ISO, dropping the frame rate. So you get grainy images and a lot of lag. But as soon as we introduce that external light, that really goes away. So to summarize, the pros and cons, of course, are everything built in is nice, but I think the best setting for the least amount of lag on the camera is to go ahead and use an external flashlight with a laser that's going to give you the best look up close you get some bloom or splash from that flashlight or even the illuminators on objects that are within i'd say three to five feet and then it's hard to see the laser in one single color of course so if it's black and white or if it's green it kind of washes away and it's hard to see that but anything beyond that laser is going to stand out more against the flashlight and you get a nice sight picture uh, for lack of a better term and that's going to help out a lot distance wise you can definitely zoom out to kind of see a little bit further but you get some pixelation so the resolution's not the greatest but i think for being out walking around um, as long as you have an external illuminating source you're not going to really get too much lag and uh, i think that was the concern of most people so i hope this video did a good breakdown of showing you the differences between the various settings and your options to uh, mitigate or minimize the amount of lag on the device. So make sure you drop me a comment if you have any advice or feedback. I'd love to get that. So please drop a comment down below. Make sure you like this video and share it so others can see it and get, can get out there more with the YouTube algorithm. And lastly, if you're into night vision, tactical devices, um, wristwatches, and cigars, those are just a few of my hobbies that I will be featuring on my channel going forward. So I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Uh, links down below if you want to pick any of this stuff up. I really appreciate that help support the channel. I'll see you all at the next one. Take care.